surgery. Three words no one wants to hear. I cried, I fussed, I was hysterical for at least two weeks before my appointment. Oh, it was, it was very, very stressful. But it doesn't have to be. Imagine having major surgery and feeling well enough to go home in less than 24 hours. Imagine having a hysterectomy and quickly returning to your normal routine with little or no pain and scarring. Today, women don't have to have their mother's hysterectomy. If I knew it was going to be this easy, I would have had it from day one. I couldn't believe how much of a, not a piece of cake, but it was pretty easy recovery. What do Judy, Marianne, and tens of thousands of other women have in common? They had da Vinci surgery. This video will explain your surgical options, what da Vinci surgery is and what's involved, and da Vinci's key benefits to patients. Let's talk about indications for hysterectomy. A hysterectomy may be necessary for non-cancerous conditions such as fibroid tumors, severe endometriosis, heavy bleeding, pelvic pain and uterine or vaginal prolapse, or falling. So what choices do you have for surgery? If you've been told you need a hysterectomy, you may be able to choose between traditional open surgery, a vaginal approach, laparoscopic surgery, or minimally invasive da Vinci surgery. Traditional open surgery is commonly used for most gynecologic procedures. Surgeons have to make a long incision, often 6 to 12 inches, to access the pelvic area. Recovery can take up to six weeks. A vaginal approach with no external incisions is used for some gynecologic procedures when visibility is adequate. Laparoscopy, introduced in the late 1980s, is less invasive. Surgeons use long-handled, rigid, manually operated instruments and a miniature camera to operate through small incisions. Da Vinci surgery is a minimally invasive approach that enables surgeons to perform complex cases through a few tiny incisions. In 1999, da Vinci surgery was introduced to overcome the limits of traditional surgical technology. The da Vinci surgical system is 100% physician controlled. This minimally invasive, precise operation gives patients the chance for the best possible results and a much faster recovery. Da Vinci's camera gives your surgeon a remarkably clear, 10 times magnified, 3D, high-definition view inside the body. This is critical for delicate, minimally invasive operations. Da Vinci reduces your surgeon's hand movements down to micro-movements, increasing precision and control during surgery. Da Vinci instruments have tiny wrists that can bend and rotate. That allows for much more flexibility. Surgeons say it's as if their hands are miniaturized and working in your body. These elements together, along with a minimally invasive approach, allow for a more precise operation, which is gentler on you and allows you to heal faster. So what do these advances mean for patients? equal or better clinical outcomes, a shorter hospital stay and faster recovery, fewer complications and side effects, much less pain, less blood loss and need for transfusions, less risk of infection, and less scarring. During a hysterectomy, doctors remove part or all of the uterus. They gently free the ovaries from connective tissues one at a time. Then carefully remove the uterus, the cervix, both fallopian tubes, and both ovaries. The surgeon then stitches the internal opening closed, again all done through tiny incisions on the lower abdomen as opposed to open surgery through a long incision. You should discuss the specifics of your operation with your doctor. The extent of the surgery will depend on your individual condition. 
with da Vinci surgery, your doctor is operating in a minimally invasive fashion with a high level of precision that will often allow patients to recover in just days. The residents graduate and have a big party in June. Um, and I don't like to miss a party. And I went to the party. And I was like five or six days post-op. And they're like, what are you doing here? I was even on the dance floor. I said I wouldn't have been like this been able to come to the party and dance on the dance floor if I would have had major abdominal surgery. It wasn't until like the following day when I went home that I thought, you know, this I'm not really in any pain. I took one pain pill. It wasn't pain. It was like an ouchie. You would move and he would go, ouch. And that's what it was. Just an ouchie. Keep in mind, each condition is unique to each patient. And no one can predict your outcome after surgery with 100% certainty. Ask your doctor about all treatment options for your condition. Ask about what you can expect before, during, and after surgery. Ask about da Vinci surgery.